Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in Planet Zoo and this is Keeper uh, Lima Keeper Sarah and she is cleaning uh, Lima Lagoon right now and down here we have um, I think this is Ying yes yeah, so this is a beautiful young Ying who um, is now one of our members the members of the Lima Lagoon as well as who is this beautiful wow this is Yang and this is Nadia beautiful they're super cute all of them how many do we have in here again just the three just the three. Oh yeah let's um say hello to everybody first because we have some guests here Gregsticles wow that was a few more that just like came came in then and Jing Sun, Singman, sorry, I just like ruined your name there. Um, have we cleared? No. Okay, we can release some of these animals. Um, and these will all go towards the community challenge, which is still going on. Thankfully, I haven't. Whoops, I'm so sorry. Thankfully, I haven't missed it completely. Let me see, I've done her, um, we can release this lovely lady. And this is a Nyala, she can go into the trade center. Okay, that is everybody for now. But let's just check on our community challenge. <gasps> Nadia's already having offspring? <gasps> Nadia, yes! Uh, amazing, amazing, okay. So here we get 250 conservation credits and we have released 55 animals and we have to get to 57. I'm wondering if we're going to get any clothed items um, through um, doing this challenge or if it's just going to be the conservation credits because it's very little conservation credits to be honest um, compared to like what we get for other stuff I feel like. But I'm not, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, it's a very easy challenge for us this week but still I feel like it's, it's, it's easy to a certain extent. Right, let's grab some bins to put over here. I'm gonna put two each side there and like one as you kind of walk out here. I want to put some benches as well. Let me see, anybody, a bongo just matured. We can pop him in, pop him in there. Kondo, he's cool, that's kind of cool name. Um, what was I doing, what was I doing? I'm lost now. I've kind of strained strain away from, oh, here I am. Okay, I'm grabbing a bench, that's what I was doing. Um, I want like a kind of a small bench. We could put some here as well, actually. Okay, let's see. Bench. Bins and benches. I guess we could kind of put this cute little blue bench down. Um, I think it's fine just being two there. And then I want to put some here, like so, and then maybe one here, and maybe one like here. So maybe I won't put I won't put them there because it kind of blocks the. Well, I can put one. I guess one will be fine there, but not one there because like they're looking at each other when they sit down. Okay. Wow, that just happened all at once, very quickly. I can't believe how many animals we have now maturing all at once. Okay, you can be released, my friend. Another Galapagos tortoise has matured. Um, and a Indian peafowl. Taking a little while to be able to release them. Okay, we'll try again. And this female who has matured we have the Indian P file okay he will not be released so I'm gonna put him in the trade center just so that he doesn't reel anybody else while he's being finickety about his departure like oh I was gonna say like that one but that one decided against it okay this one off you go we're definitely gonna complete the uh the checkpoint of the challenge, community challenge. Another tortoise here. Okay, starting to get a bit better now. Nayala in bronze, which is really good. They are now bronzing out. Cinnamon is, everybody's getting really old though. Really old and we have one male in there. 
Oh, they don't have any. Oh, I just saw that come and come up that they have a lack of beds, bedding. I'm gonna put some under here just that they have some bedding to enjoy. Oops, I think like that one's floating. There. That's probably way better for you, isn't it? Is this one floating as well? I put this one floating. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Okay. And like one there. Cool, I think. That should be way better for them. Where did I see that before? Um, oh, they're great. The quality can go up to three. Yes, here we go. Bedding is way better. Available food. So let's put another food feeding area. A few of these around. We have one over there, so that's three now. So let's check back in. Huh. Okay, it hasn't actually... Uh, maybe available food is when the keeper has to like, put the food down. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, we got 250 again. It's so annoying I can't like scroll and see. 65 animals are released and I think there are more coming by the looks of this. Okay, release to you. Anybody else? You. Another female. Ah, oh, she's going to be annoying as well, is she? That's annoying. Why are they all doing that? I don't understand. I don't know why some of them don't want to go. It's really annoying. Like this female, I don't know why she doesn't want to go. And this female. Okay, we're going to put those in the trade center and we're going to have to go and find them. Let's see, I want, what are they? They are Chinese, no they're not, they are, <laughs> I've literally forgotten, oh, peafowl, Indian, Indian, there. Okay, this is a young one, so I'm actually going to send this young one in here. And then here we have Trisha. He is relocating. Oh, this is a one that needs actually... Uh, come on. Um, where where did I just see? Look, see, I don't know why. Okay, well, let me see. Ah, this one's a young one. So this one can also go in there. I don't know why we have a few young um, peafowl in here. Say. Okay, so they just don't seem to want to go into their habitat which is interesting i don't know why bit odd bit odd okay here we have another female who's actually being moved say is being moved and that is it okay let's go and catch them and put them on contraceptives okay he has a undiagnosed disease so we're going to box him up okay we're gonna unbox him hang on call the vet and then box him so he doesn't give anybody anything okay let me see oh but it's because they're all incubating stuff that is why I boxed them up while they were incubating a disease so that's why wait wait you have it as well okay anybody else did i just throw in with a disease possibly one i missed yes okay is she gonna disease everybody now or is that good did i save it i think i saved it yes okay good i've got everybody right um again we claimed reward i don't actually remember doing that 
And Nyala is dying. Cinnamon. 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 Okay, pause for a sec. Let me just... Oh my goodness me. We have way too many animals. Okay. Angel had offspring, which is very exciting. This is the offspring here. And it is just a normal animal appeal. But that's fine. I was hoping Ben would give her some of his genes, which obviously wasn't didn't work as well as we thought it would. Um, we have a while a tortoise maturing. We have let me see flamingos. Okapi is expecting offspring, which is good. Um, Willow and Nadia, no Nadia, cinnamon. <gasps> cinnamon died, and she was expecting offspring. No, Cinnamon. Oh, and she's stuck. I just realised. She's very stuck. Okay, let's call the, call the vet. Um, she's stuck standing up, I think. Oh, no, no, she's definitely not stuck standing up. She's fine. She can die. Okay. Well, she's not fine, obviously, but uh, we're good not having a stuck animal. I can't believe she died when she was pregnant. That is very tragic. I'm sure one of our Okapi did that as well. It's an awful, awful thing. So we only have two females left and they are getting old. They are getting old and Parsley is still kind of young. So we might have to go and find some Nyala females for him. Let me see. Um, Nyala. Um, Nyala females. Okay, there are a few females we can add in, I'm sure. Let's buy this one for him and buy this one. She's just tiny. There's nothing wrong with her. Okay, I'm going to send her in. And Ayala. Um, oh, Lord, who did I just buy? This one. Because all the other ones are related to Parsley, so they can't go in. Like, all of these. I can't believe all these children are just from Parsley. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Maybe we should release some of these to the wild. Possibly. Because some of these are definitely better than others. Huh, maybe we'll wait. Because I know we probably will use them in the future. A few of them. And we have space anyway, so for now. For now it's good. Cinnamon died. Yes, we have a vet coming for you, Cinnamon. Ah, oh, today is just all happening. All happening. And I haven't even got anything done, really. Um, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yes. I was in the Lima area. Where I wanted to add our, um, a different kind of Lima, really. I wanted to see if I had any red ruffed Limas in here. Uh, red ruffed Lima. No. Okay, we gotta go and find some. That's fine. Okay, Red Ruffed Lima. Got it. Because they are a great interspecies relationship for our, um, for our ones that we have, for our ringtail lemurs that are in there already. Okay, a little expensive, but we could get a good male for 54. And a good-ish female. Size and longevity is zero. I'm going to get this female. Um, I wonder if they'll be alright. Or if I need to get some more females. I mean, I'm not get getting like this. That's ridiculous for a, for a Lima. Let's refresh. She is so like sad on longevity. I don't think she'd survive that long enough to give us some, some good babies. So I'm actually going to just send these two in here to enjoy the amazing amount of space that our lemurs have. Like, seriously, they have a huge amount of space. Look at this little one. This little one is enjoying the beautiful climbing that we gave her. Who is this? Yang, Yang, are you enjoying yourself? Running around like a pro. We have a little baby! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call her Ninja. Because she is so cute and she's silver. She is silver quality. That's so good. Okay, hang on. Where is she? I did just see her. <gasps> is that her? Is that her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me click on Ninja. Let me click on Ninja. 
Ninja. Oh my goodness. I don't want the bush. I want the the monkey. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Okay. No, not the log, not the log, please. Oh my gosh. Ninja. Ninja, you're so cute. What are you doing? Oh my goodness me. Okay. Let's just watch her for a sec. So she gets in a good position for a lovely photo. Which is what I want. Oh my gosh. She can't decide where she's going. Up or down, up or down. I guess that's kind of what baby monkeys are like. Look at her go. Oh my gosh, she's so small. Extremely small, actually. Whoops. Um, I'm doing stuff that I don't want to do. No, ninja. 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 Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanted to take a screenshot of you, ninja. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, was our red, I think our red rough lemurs are here. Have they already run off? They've already run off. Okay, one of our males is here. One of our males, our male is here. Wow. Oh my gosh, this guy is super cool. He has like swagger in his walk. And he fits perfectly into this environment actually. Look at how fluffy his tail is. Ah, oh, he's so cool. Dude, you're so cool. Okay. And then another a female. A female has arrived. Here she is. Look how beautiful she is. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna call her Violet. And we're gonna call okay, I'm gonna actually star Violet. And where is the other one? I'm gonna call him Scout. Uh oh, uh oh, hang on, hang on. No no no. <gasps> okay, I need you to pause. I know I lost Scout, but um we have inbreeding, so hang on. Let me name Scout really quick. Scout. Okay. And then we need to go and stop this poor shoe with Sai, who's been put back in. Ugh, I wasn't concentrating and he got put back in and now he's interbreeding. Okay. This is what happens. This is what happens. Okay, aircon is part of it. This one, this one can go to the world. Okay, I rescued it. I did rescue it, but I think I probably missed a few. Okay, a tortoise. And a oh, it was just the tortoise. Okay, it was just the tortoise. Wow. Okay, that's that's and the only uh, two that that matured. And then now we are having we have fifteen tortoises left. Fifteen. Wow, that has done so well. Kind of getting <gasps> many guest link seekers are underpriced. Yes, they are totally underpriced. They are now forty and thirty five. Yes. Look at this. And it, oh dear. Education? Huh. Interesting. Well, maybe we do need to add some education in. I mean, I have added it in a lot of places, but maybe not in our new places like this. I don't think we have any speakers here. So we can add some speakers around the Nile Monitor area. But for now, goodbye, guys. And I'll see you next time.